What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can see all my videos. Okay? <laughs> In today's video, we got our March BoxyCharm. I used all the products in my box to help create this look. Oh wait, there's one product that I did not use. But you have to keep watching to find out which one I didn't use and why I didn't use it. The theme of the month is vacation. Since it's March and people are going on spring break. So take your bay on vacation, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing else to say other than if you want to see what products I got, how they worked out for me, and how I created this look, then make sure you keep on watching. First I want to show you guys these eye gel packs from South Maine. You just get three under eye gels. It reduces puffiness, reduces dark circles, moisturizes eye area. Now, you know how much I need these right now, but the girl just ain't got the time. I just don't have the time because it says that you're supposed to keep them on for 30 minutes. I just can't do that today. It says for best results, use for three consecutive days. So I'm going to use these when I can actually use them three days in a row and I can actually spend 30 minutes with just chilling with eye gel patches on my eyes. Next we have this brush set from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. It's a smoky eye brush set. So here are the three brushes. Take them out of the packages. I don't think I've ever heard of this company either. I know I've heard of Vintage Cosmetics. Is it the same thing or is it a different company? I'm not too sure. So here is the shadow brush and they have like step one, step two, step three. I think that is like super cute. Step one for the money, okay. Step two for the shadow. So this is considered like a blending brush. We'll see how that works out. Step three, go girl, go. And this is a smudger brush. So that's like super cute. I like these brushes. They feel really, you know, they feel good. They don't feel cheap whatsoever. Then we have this eyeshadow palette. Boxy Charm in collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. It has a mirror, has this protector screen. And here are the shadows. I'm gonna tell you guys, this palette looks so much prettier in person than it did in the pictures online. So I'm super excited to try this out today. This black shade right here has shimmery reflex in it, like purple, gold. There might even be like a little bit of green in there. So I think I'm gonna go for like a smoky eye since we have a smoky eye brush set. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to get the shadow on one eye real quick off camera and I'll be back to do the other eye. Okay guys, I am ready to start this eye. I don't know if it is primer that I had, but I got some like major patching going on right here. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but not really feeling that and I'm hoping it doesn't happen over here. I am using a couple other brushes than the three brushes that I got in the little vintage kit. We're using this Morphe blender doesn't have a number on it. I think it came in a set. Dipping into the lightest shade right here just to get like a little base. Using the same brush, we're going to dip into this shade right here, which is called Nikki. And there's a little bit of fallout on these shades. And we're taking this basically in the same spot. Deepening it up a little bit. Same brush again, we're moving over to this shade right here, which is called Bell. Now we're using the step two. We are dipping into the purple shade right here, which is called BFF. We're taking this into the crease. Before we start dipping into the black shadow, I'm using the step three brush. We're dipping into this little shimmer right here, and we're just taking that on the brow bone. Now we're ready for the black shadow, and I'm just gonna let you guys know that all that glitter and stuff that I saw in the shadow, I don't see any of that on my lid with the black shadow but we're still moving with it, so that's kind of disappointing. I wish that when there's shimmer in a black or dark shade that it actually shows up on the eyelid. I have yet to find a shadow that really does that. But we're using the step one brush for this. A lot of product comes out on the brush, and we're just gonna start packing this on the lid. 
Once I have the black shade pretty much on there, I go back to the angle brush, dip into that purple color, and start blending together. Okay, so I'm going to clean up this eye. I'm going to put my foundation on and get ready to use the next two products. I put some inner corner highlight on and did my black eyeliner and realized that the microphone was not on. <laughs> so that is already done, but I'm just going to like touch up. I'm going to bring up the inner corner highlight into this area right here just a little bit. Now for under the eye, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to do this pink color, that purple color, maybe a little bit more of the black eyeshadow. So let's start with the pink shade called Belle, and we're just going to get this right on the lower lash line. Dipping into the purple. I am going to use some of that black shadow on the lower lash line and this is a Luxie 221 and we're going to just get it super close to the waterline. There we go. There is so much fallout though. I'm back! We are ready for our next product, and we have a mascara. This is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. It says it's 200% thicker lashes, 314% increase in lash curl. Okay. Now, I just tried out a new mascara recently, the Bad Gal Bing Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics, and that threw my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes out the door. So, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. The wand looks like that, pretty normal, pretty big actually. Probably not even going to be able to tell since I have a bunch of black eyeshadow on my lid, but let's do it. All right, they're looking pretty good. They are separated. I mean, there's a little curl. I mean, I don't think it's like, oh my God, this is the best mascara ever in life invented, but it's all right. I do like my mascara to dry on my top lashes before I apply mascara to my bottom lashes because I do not like getting mascara on my eyelids, even though it's black shadow. But anyways, we're gonna dip into the last product that we have. We have a blush from Pretty Vulgar. It's called Hush Blush. I think that's the shade, number 18. I think this packaging is super cute. Like, it doesn't feel super expensive. It's very light. It feels kind of cheap, but I think it's super cute. You open it up, the color looks like this. I'm glad I got this color, not like the super pale pink color that was the other choice, I think. I'm using a Glamour Dolls angled blush brush, and let's just get this on my cheeks. I need a mirror. Oh, this still might be too pink for me. Okay. I thought I was going to like the color a little bit more. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. I just, I like more of a bronzy blush, you know? All right, let's get the mascara on my bottom lashes. Here is the final look. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. For my lip today, I am using Kylie Cosmetics Dirty Peach. I think this is the second time I've used it since I bought it last year or I don't know when it launched whenever. For highlight I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Nicole Guerrero. I literally mixed one, two, three, and four. All those four shades. I mixed them for here, here, and here. Let me give you my final thoughts on these products and I will give you their retail value. So first, the eyeshadow palette retails for $36. Overall, I think it's a really cute palette. I mean, the mirror is a little cheap, one of those cheap mirrors, you know, but I do like the colors in here. I'm excited to try the other colors I haven't tried, especially this blue one. However, this black shade that's called Boxy Black that has shimmer in it. You can't really see any shimmer on my lid, so that was pretty deceiving. Not a bad palette to have, I think, especially going into the spring season. Next up, we have the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. This retails for $20. Um, I think it's alright. It worked. I do see some curl. I 
don't think it's gonna end up being like my favorite mascara or a mascara that I will use often but it's added to the collection so I'm not mad at it next we had the South Main Beauty under eye gels and these retail for $10 and I'm assuming it's this little packet that retails for $10 now I didn't have time to use them today I am going to check these out because I do like under eye gel patches I do feel like I have dark circles I have puffiness I have all of the above but I need to be able to do this three days in a row to be able to see the results and see if I would actually want to buy these so I'm very intrigued about this and I am going to try them out then we had the vintage cosmetic company smoky eye makeup brush set and this retails for $23.15 what an odd price to have right you can't do an entire eye lick with just these brushes you definitely need more of a blender fluffy not an angled blender but I do like them and I love brushes you guys I have a huge I have a lot of brushes and I don't mind adding brushes to my collection so I'm very very happy about these last product is the pretty vulgar make them blush blush in hush blush this retails for $26 wow I can't believe this retails for $26 that is crazy to me I feel like it is not even luxurious enough to be $26 however like it's a cute blush um, maybe a little too pink for me. I definitely like a bronzy blush. I'm really satisfied with my BoxyCharm this month. I love when we get eyeshadow palettes. It's like, yes. Oh, we also got a 25% off card for your next $50 purchase on Butterlinen.com. Use code CHARM25. So that's cool. However, I don't think I will use it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, this brings us to the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this boxy charm. Get ready with me for March. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this boxy charm, get ready with me for March, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!